Okay, good, it's on. Hey guys, today I'm going to make another video. This is another tutorial video, and it's going to be Blink-182. This song's called Carousel, and I'll put it in the description. Let's get into the video. Now, how the song starts, the intro. You should, you should play it on the bass, but it sounds like this. So um, now that we've got the intro part down, let's learn how to do it. You go to the 5th fret A string and shove that once. Then you go to the 2nd fret, four, you go to the 4th fret, not 2nd fret, and you strum the D string twice. Sound like that. Then you go to the 5th fret D string and strum that twice once. You go to the 8th fret, D string, strum that once. Go back to the 5th fret, D string, strum that once. 4th fret, D string, strum that once. And you go back to the 5th fret, A string, strum that once. It should sound like this. Easy. Now you go to the 5th fret, and strum the low E string. You go to the 4th fret A string, strum that twice. You go to the 5th fret A string, strum that once. You go to the 8th fret A string, strum that once. Go back to the 5th fret A string, strum that once. Go to the 4th fret A string, strum that once. And go back to the 5th fret low E string, strum that once. Now, um third part of the song, the intro. It should sound like this. That's, um, that's the third part. So, in total there's four parts, but this is how you do it. Go to the eighth fret and strum the low E string. You go to the eighth fret, strum the A string twice. Go to the 10th fret, A string, strum that once. Go to the 11th fret, A string, strum that once. Go back to the 10th fret, A string, strum that once. Go to the 8th fret, a string strum that once and go back to the 10th fret A string strum that once. The whole, the whole entire intro, almost, the whole entire intro should sound like this. And the last part is just a power chord on the 3rd fret low E string. Strum it twice, and strum strum the low E string twice, strum the A string once, and do that for like two times until you go to, until the last part of it goes like this. You strum the low E string, then the A string. That's the whole intro. So it should sound like this. part of the song. It's still technically the intro, so I'll just play it. Okay, so since that's over, you go to the, you go back to the 10th fret and put your ring finger on the A string. 
strum both the low E string and the A string at the same time. Then you go to the fifth fret, do a power chord on the low E string. Go back to the eighth fret, do a power chord on the low E string. Then you go to the third fret and do a power chord on the low E string. So now that you've got technically the whole intro part done, this is goes into the I'll make a separate video for the other part that you can do with the bass, so I'll just feature out another video. I just need to get my amp ready. So once we get that done, that is technically the whole song, really. I mean, like, there is one more thing you can do. In the middle of the song, he goes like this. Yeah, so it sounds like that. It's just... It's like the intro part, but instead of strumming the second thing you strum twice, you strum just once. So it sounds like this. But yeah, that is also a bass part. You could play it on the guitar though. It sounds just like the bass if you just go to a lower note. Yeah, um, I guess that's the whole song. You should, we should, but the strumming part, it's easy. It's just up and down, you know. There's really nothing more I can teach you, so, um, yeah. Hope you liked the tutorial.